is a serious matter. We've been reviewing internal reports from inside IHA now for seven months, and we keep getting more reports. While continuing our research, we learned that a team with the HUD office of the Inspector General came to Indianapolis to begin what's being described as a review. This is surveillance video from inside the Luger Tower in 2012. It appears some workers removing asbestos at the time did not want to be watched. This project in Indianapolis and its associated contracts could be among those federal investigators will be reviewing to ensure they met federal regulations and federal standards. There is no evidence that the asbestos removal or disposal posed any health dangers to the residents of Luger Tower, who are among the most vulnerable in our city, from seniors to those suffering with mental illness. Call 6 obtained several internal reports from the IHA Office of Special Investigations, which raised concerns about the asbestos project as well as the use of federal funds to buy Made in America products during a major renovation beginning in 2008. We attempted to talk with the investigator who helped generate the reports and instead got an email asking us to direct all questions to IHA headquarters. On the issue of asbestos, Executive Director Bud Myers had this to say during a June meeting. But I can't comment on, on it now. Would it be fair to say, sir, that the Office of the Inspector General should do an audit just to clear up any questions that anyone may have, just to look at all the records and just do their jobs? And sir, I'm sure that, that they will do what their job is. So, again, I can't speak to it until I speak with my attorney. The agency's legal team did respond multiple times on June 21st, telling us that the questions raised by their own police investigators have been fully addressed and resolved. In September, as we continue to ask for more details, IHA went on to say this, that suggesting that it or its vendor did not comply with applicable environmental or immigration laws or regulations is inaccurate. On that Buy American program, the agency provided us a four-page response saying that it was in compliance. We'll post that on the RTV6 app. In recent weeks, we've also learned that several discrimination complaints have been filed with the EEOC against the agency. I expect to have those reports by the end of the year. Now, in response to the OIG review, the housing agency says the following, that it's working alongside the Office of the Inspector General throughout all phases of their survey. They go on to say, we remain committed to the integrity of our programs while providing safe and affordable housing within the Indianapolis community. So what's the Office of the Inspector General saying? Well, nothing, because the Office of the Inspector General does not speak to the media. They do allow their findings to speak for themselves. We expect to get those findings sometime by January. The, the report should have some sort of detailing. It could call for uh, issues uh, to be fixed, to be addressed. They could also say that the agency is in compliance, or it could also call for a federal audit, which the agency, IJ, has not seen in about 10 years. A story that will continue to follow right here on RTV6.